We'll repeat those spreadsheet tests, this time with LibreOffice 7.2 release candidate 1. Uh, and I'm running Excel, same version of Excel, but in a beta release of Crossover. Uh, there are a couple of little glitches with the beta release of Crossover, as we'll see, but it doesn't seem to affect the relevance of the testing. So, let's do a cold start of loading this spreadsheet into Excel. I'm just going to time it on my phone. Now, this is uncached, so it's a little bit of an unfair test. So I need on another monitor, but I'm going to repeat this uh, to see if the cache makes any difference. Okay, it finished in four, 14 seconds. I won't repeat it because that's pretty fast. Okay, so that's the Excel spreadsheet. Um, to make it fair, somewhat fair anyway, I'll close LibreOffice and this is the one I've got loaded in Excel, so I'll load this one in uh, LibreOffice 7.2. Okay. That's 10. Well, okay. So that was just over 10 seconds of my crude timing. That is. First of all, it's faster than Excel, and it is faster than Excel. I've done this test a couple of times this morning. That's a remarkable achievement. So the release notes say they've improved the loading of spreadsheets. I think they're underselling their achievements. It's a dramatic improvement from uh, LibreOffice 7.0. But that's just one of the tests. Let's look at the filtering performance. So to put that in context, let's have a look at what Excel does. So I turn on uh, Auto Filter. And I'm going to move back to the skew column and I'm going to choose yep, zero. By the way, the key numbers in the spreadsheet are all randomized. Let's um, select for skew starting with gen. So it took a few seconds. And what I do is I've got a, um, about 61,000 rows. I'm going to delete them. If I did delete, I'm actually going to time it. See how long it takes for the delete to happen in Excel, 32 bit Excel. Running under one. About 14 seconds. Okay. I'll undo it. Pretty good undo performance. Let's repeat that in LibreOffice. So I'm using this new user interface, one of the new options. It's an overwhelming number of UI options now as LibreOffice expands um, the look and feel choices, and I'm not very familiar with them. Skew, so very fast response. That drop down was instant. Look at that response, also instant. So this is really fast. Let's do the filtering. Okay, it's finished the filtering. There's about three seconds. So. That was actually a little bit faster than Excel too. So let's uh, let's go. Okay, that's very nice and responsive. Select them all with the keyboard. So that's um, the same number of rows selected. Now I'm about to bulk delete the sixty-one thousand rows. This was a miserable experience with version seven point zero. I couldn't even get the right-click delete to respond very well. So let's see how it goes now. First of all, notice right click and I get my menu absolutely uh, spot on. And it says delete rows with the plural, unlike Excel, which shows me the singular. Let's uh, see how fast it takes, how long it takes. All right, about six seconds. It's chalk and cheese, it's like not even the same product. Well done. Let's try undo another step that was very slow in the past. Right, so undo is still very slow.
I actually paused it. it took 35 seconds uh, it didn't crash so that's a little bit slow but I don't suppose that's a step you do very often now uh, we also looked at inserting columns and inserting formulas that would do copy and paste so I'll turn off my filtering I failed to do. Okay, so it's not a very good way of turning off filtering. All right, okay, clicked it twice and it went away. Uh, let's just insert a column here. I'll turn on filtering again and insert entire column. Okay, so to give a flavor of comparison, let's go back to Excel. I'll just uh, clear the filter. Okay, let's um, insert column. So Excel is a bit faster. Now let's make a formula. Let's just do a numerical formula. It's one plus one. Okay. some um, fun and games with the formatting. All right, so let's try the autofill. Over 208,000 rows. Okay, that's pretty fast. I'm happy with that. I'm not going to compare that with Excel. That's fine. Um, let's try deleting a column. Not too bad. Compare that to Excel. So uh, let's just make sure that I don't have text. Anticipate that. Let's just check a simple formula, make sure I get a numeric answer. I do. So let's go to one of my numeric fields. This one will do. And add one to it. Let's do the autofill and see how fast it is. Okay, Excel is remarkably quick at that. And uh, let's try deleting the column. Still faster than LibreOffice, but uh, there's no doubt that LibreOffice is now, I would say in the same class of performance it's a few more seconds, apart from that long delay for the undo. Uh, the, um, the rest of the performance is now much closer to acceptable. And it's still very stable. So that's a huge improvement, really encouraging, I think. Let's try the safe performance. This is Excel. And uh, let's try it now here, if I can look at where save is. Cheat and use the menu. Okay, 
Okay, that was slower, not much slower. I wonder if saving it in native format would make any difference. It didn't really last time. Let's see, I've got my stopwatch on now. So there's no speed advantage to be gained from saving it in the native format. All right, so conclusion is LibreOffice is still stable with a large spreadsheet and performance has improved absolutely dramatically.